Yeah, man. Are we on? We're on. All righty. Hey, everybody. I'm Rob the Builder. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Now, <coughs> today, we're prepping. We're prepping. Yes, indeed, we're I'm most dreadfully embarrassed. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, now that I've been very silly, um, okay, what it is is that we've got <coughs> two aircraft with acquiring the same colour, um, those being a B-17 um, and a C-47. Now, because they've in fact got two colours in common, what my objective will be is to basically um, what was I going to say? <laughs> is basically going to be to um, do those planes in conjunction. So, like, once I've got them all masked up, Boeing Grey on each of them, and then the other one is actually, it's actually a Soviet colour, but it's ideal for the um, lighter of the two greens that will be on the B-17. It's only the one green that goes on the C-47. Boom, away we go, kids. But there is a shitload of prepping along the way, or before we get onto that, rather, Depending on how long that takes, we will then um, get on to detailing some of the interior of the C-47. Um, we'll see how we roll, kids. Oh, hello. Hang on a moment. Uh, I'll have to chase that up at the moment, uh, Divine. Yeah. Um, I'll track your channel down once I've uh, finished my stream, obviously. I can't do it right now. Um, now, anyway, getting back to what I was... Uh, how, how are you doing, by the way? Oop. Oh, that's the stream. Yeah. Um, now, so, yeah, we're going to set up for that, and uh, away we'll go. Now, first things first, as always, caffeine. Alrighty, there we go. Light goes on. Let's get you a better viewing posse. Deedly. Now, I did get some done um, last night, um, like so. Um, because usually by Saturday evening I am really tired. Um, so I didn't finish it. And that's because um, on Saturday morning I go fishing very early. And uh, yeah. All righty. Now, let me just. Here is. I'll bring you back a bit so as you can have a gander at what I'm doing. Now, our paint scheme is this one. Let's have a look. Now, it curves up to there and curves down to there. All right. Yes, yeah, oh, that's a bit interesting. 
Okay, so if we look, I'll show you. Hang on a moment. Here, that's our line there. From there, it comes up and slides slightly down along there. Now, a lot of that doesn't matter so much because I'm actually going to go slightly higher than I should. The idea being I will go on top with the green being a darker colour. And that's where I'll make my uh, lineal definition I've discovered in my time. That if you go for, okay, that's where it ends, and try to try put exactly where the next bit ends, it getting the two lines exact can be problematic. Just do one colour a little bit too far, and then tidy up, and away you go. That's my take on it. Um, now... Let's do that. Now, I've only got a finite quantity of <clears throat> this, unfortunately. I mean, let's face it. No, that's probably a bit poor choice of words, because let's face it. There's only ever going to be a finite quantity of anything. I digress. Um, yeah. Time to get philosophical, hey? Um, now, let me also consider, though, because what I'm trying to do is mint we can get some more of this tomorrow or Tuesday or whatever. But, okay, how much? Mm, all righty. If I'm spraying, I'll do it properly. I need to start using, I've got lots of this, um, which is still quite wide. Um, okay. So we'll start off, as I said, for this initial coat, we don't need to be too accurate, and that's kind of handy. Uh, it's probably even, there's probably a good point. You see, oh, look, even comes with the handy side benefit of covering up a shitload of that sort of stuff. All right, that's good. Yeah, because I'll be taking the line from there and then just dropping it a little. <coughs> I will need to do some masking on the um, inside here. Let's, might even do that now. Actually, here's a plan. There's a plan just here. <coughs> uh, might as well. <coughs> do all the now have I done all the little bits here that I need to file off probably doesn't mm. there's a couple of bits that I might should have thought about that before I started uh, let me just feel that I can still get yeah I'm lucky do you feel lucky? Well, yeah, do as it happens. We'll just tidy that uh, little. There we go. Yeah, nice. Uh, Yeah, hey, uh, Emil, how are you doing? You're up uh, quite late, I should think. Really? If you want to join me on the stream, just let me know and I'll flick the link up. 
Now then, that's that prepped. While I'm at in the filing mode, I may as well just do this one, hey? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm just getting this. Uh, yeah. This I might have. Ah, there's a little bit here that needs to happen. I'm just prepping up uh, the uh, B17 and C47 for the bombing grey coats. And because uh, of it's a curious thing, because of the C47 being a transport and only two engined. Um, is a very simple plane, really. And as such, because I'm able to do the main coats on it while at the same time as I do the B-17, I may even have it finished before the B-17, uh, although I do need to do finish some detailing on it. Now, There we go. Clean all this up. There we go. Right. Now, let's mask. Um, uh, let's see. Now, quick gander at... All right, so if I just go up a little bit higher, like I said, zoom, 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 boom. Okay, that'll work for us. Let's do that. So we'll start with a bit of this stuff. In fact, I'm going to go a bit big with it because what I'm going to do is cover those holes while I'm here. I need that just a little higher though. There we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's good. That will work nicely for me. Now, oops, a daisy. Um, next, we'll try out this behaviour. Now, about that much will do us. I would suggest. And there we go. Oh. Now that's actually a bit too long, but that's fine. Oh, that's good though. It comes up nicely to there. Alrighty, there be yeah, that'll give me good coverage of the Boeing Grey. Enough area that when I do bring the green into play, it'll just go it'll look very pretty. That's the theory, at least. Very pretty. <laughs> uh, really? And we'll come up about there. Yeah, that works for us. I reckon. Now, I will want to cover up any exposed holes. Um, like that. And 
there. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that long enough? Probably not. But it is long enough for, actually, they need to be covered. B17 is uh, actually I've got uh, a lot of it's coming along very I'm pretty happy with the progress I've made I've got most of the detailing done now and of course once you got that done and you got the exterior coats on it starts becoming very quick process to getting it finished um, it's a nice aircraft the B17 um Ah, this is the Memphis Bell from Revel. Um, so a bit of a coincidence there. Uh, uh, oops, I'm working this bit. Rob, what are you doing, boy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Go across there. I've. Uh, Actually, as you were doing a B-17 as well, I'll give you a quick gander. I'd like your thoughts <coughs> on... This is going to be my main green on top, on the upper wing area. Once it's, You've got a rough idea about that colour. I mean, bearing in mind that I haven't mixed in all that pigment as well, but roughly that colour. Um... I'll shake it a bit more so as we get a bit of a better look at it. B twenty four, sweet. I I actually want to build the B twenty four J. Let's see if we've got a better that's a better look at the colour, I would suggest. But I'm going to be using that for out my uh, main coats. Uh, you still can't. Yeah, no, I'm seeing it on the screen now. It's not quite coming up nicely for a viewing. Um, that's probably a better view there, actually. Yeah. And I'll be uh, putting that on the as the main coat for the upper wings of the C-47. Yeah, it's a curious... Uh, it's a curious colour. Um, but... Because uh, it's not quite... Uh, yeah, it's... Not, Olive drab is not the correct colour for the occasion, you know. Um, yeah. This one is actually a um, World War II Soviet-like khaki, but the actual colour itself matters less, in my opinion. Um, so long as it's the colour that you're after, as in the name of the, the paint doesn't matter so much. After all, it's just a label in that context. Now, we shall. Yeah. Um, the other thing I can, I also sometimes think is that uh, when you start factoring in such things as um, the... This being the bell, we'll find a few missions, so there have been all sorts of discoloring and stuff that's going to go on the uh, on the paint job anyway, and a fair bit of weathering. So, yeah. Yeah, she's good, you know. Um, 
Uh, bing. Oh, almost dropped the bloody tape. That would have been incon inconvenient. Let's measure that out again. I accidentally yonked a bit off. Uh, there we go. Rip. Anyway. We'll go across here. Actually, I can do that whole window if I play my cards right. Yes. Yeah, that works well. So we'll do that. Which will also give me a fair bit of coverage. I mean, bearing in mind, of course, I'm spraying here. So I'll protect the cockpit quite well. Now, next, if I just do the insides here, that side will be good to go, I would say. Now, Next, actually, no, how wide is that? Yeah, right. And with the bo oh, I've got them done, haven't done that bit yet. There we go. Ah. I'm trying to decide. I don't think I need to get too stressy, but I was going to go all to, oh, should I top up the interior green in there? I thought about it. I thought, really, Rob? Really? <laughs> Getting a little bit precious as for worrying about that, you know? Um, ah. That's such something I just noticed. However, I do need to cover, and that is the wheel bay. And now, finally, actually, no, to Finish this off with slapping one there. Why am I slapping one there when there's not, not really anything to protect? I wonder. Uh, whatever. Um, ah, whatever. And finally, on this part at least. And done. All righty. See you, dude. Back in two or three hours. Yep. My housemate is ducking out. All righty. So, one. Pop that over there here. Let's get this one done. Delay. Delay. Now, I'll put it a bit short there, never mind. All righty. Knock that one over. I just look at a few of the paint anyway, so that's fine. And um, while I'm here, 
bit of that one. Got a fair bit done on this. Do the Bombay. Uh, we'll need to do some tidy ups there. Hmm. Never mind. Oh, wait, something I forgot to do on this other one. I could probably have saved, actually, no, it's still probably a good practice. What I need to do is now go sealing the entire floor area and you know why the am I bothering Rob 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 slow as a wet week at times big boy lights are on but no one's really home guys This part's come along a lot better since I went for that much more simple approach. Who would have thunk it, eh? Cool. Now, next. Uh, ah, yeah. Yes, now have I? Yep. Swing better, better. It's going to make life easy for me to do. Do need to do a bit just here. Actually, no, I don't, because it doesn't go anywhere near there. But I do need to go. Yeah. There. Oh, hang on. Let's get carried away now. Uh. So from the back, you will discover that. Roll that in. We will go. Only something I wouldn't mind also checking. Uh, I could probably benefit from going a bit further with this masking on here. Just, uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm going to be going here, so up there's probably safe, but, you know. And I am painting on top of that, so, you know. All right, then. Next. Actually, we'll go this way. Ding. And, as I have already stated, I'm going to go a little too high with it. Because, 
what I want to do is give myself a little bit of error room. When I do the green, that will do nicely, I would suggest. Now, get a bit of this to go a little further. There we go, that'll do. And finally, I'll get a bit of this. And then that's this one set and ready to rock and or roll. Now what's the time? I, it is Sunday here, but I do still want to get a few things done. Um, my situation is that I don't have a nine to five job or any sort of job really because well I don't that um I am what is I describe as a gentleman. A gentleman does not work or go without or order himself to acts of petty criminality to get by. In any event, um the uh, Point being, that because of that, I need to be keep myself occupied and busy with a lot of stuff. Otherwise, you're just a statue, man. How is that useful? How is that good for you? So I make sure I am on any given day. And, uh, yeah. So I've got things, and that's the things I do need to genuinely be attentive to as well, like my writing. So, yeah. All righty. Ah, one last bit. And that's this one done. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I tell you. It's a big process, but that's fine. Now, what I might also do, I'm willing to bet a fair slice of cash I don't even have, that uh, the propellers of the B-17 and the C-47 would uh, also be the same colour. Hmm, I think you see where I'm going with this. So I might even get onto them today. Now, that's that one done. Next... We shall. We got these little numbers. Now these are the underside of the wings. Now there's a few bits of filing to be done here. Um, I'm not sure about that because there's a round thing in a gap there, but it could be a light that's meant to be there or could be a press mark. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Uh, that needs to be filed. Does it? Let me just check that. I might be wrong. Uh, that's definitely needing to be filed. Now, there's a bit, a couple of things about this, these wings. They're a wee bit flexy. Yes, they are. I'll show you what they are in a minute once I've uh, finished my filing. I think I've done most of this already. It's a little bit there. There we go. Now, is that a part of the aircraft or a connector point to something? It is possible. I have actually made that error on an aircraft before. So that's why I would be... I'll just check that. I would suggest... 
Now, let's have a look at this. If we were to go, if we were looking at this one. We got a picture of the whole wing. Here we go. No, right. Identified. We're getting rid of that. I thought it wasn't, and I was correct, but I always like to be sure of these things. There we go. Nice. Alrighty. Now we'll tidy up this other wing. And then I'll show you some of the bits about this that I view as a wee bit flexy. But they're also very easily fixed. Actually, here's some little. Uh, that's a bit cool. I believe these are intentionally there and meant to be lights or some such. That's cool. Nice job, Revel. Yeah. If I'm correct, that is. I'd say they are possibly am. I might say definitively. I'll zoom in on that once I've finished doing this file. It's kind of cool, if I'm right. In fact, it's very cool. So, so I've seen such detail. And that's a pretty big review on its own. There we go. There we go. Now that's nice and pretty. Oh, so pretty. Um, yeah, don't mind me, guys. <coughs> now. Now, 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 now. What I was going to, that's what I was going to show you. Check this out. I'll zoom in, as I said. Ding. Drip. Now, I'm assuming that that's... I'm going to have to paint that because the correct colour. That'll need to be silver. We digress. Um, I am assuming, however, that that is, in fact, a, uh, a light... The reason I think, and not just a miss a press mark, because we have that same effect right there. Now, actually, you know what? There's a bit of a. I wonder, zoom out for a moment. And I reckon they're meant to be lights. And if so, that's kind of cool. Let's have a quick gander. Uh, It is too. Nice one, kids. All right, now. They've actually all... You can actually see they've drawn it in. It's certainly there. Uh, you can see it. There, so that is a thing that's cool. I must stuff my hat to the good kids at Revel. Now, what we might do though is a bit of a seam on it, very small one. Let's see if we can get rid of that. That'd be kind of, that, that would be a There. 
There we go. I'll give this one a bit more of a go. Nice. Now, things that are a bit funky about these are these. Now, what I mean by that, if you look from this angle, you'll notice, and this is indeed part of the build, that there is interior green all the way through to the front there. Now, if I mask off there, the issue will be that uh, obviously I'll be blocking the bowing grey, so it's got to be done from inside. But if I do it that way, of course, it's only going to cover a certain point. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is this is where I might need to go for a bit of a search and destroy. Give me a moment. I will need to go a bit of a search and destroy, but I know I have some. Blue tack. Blue tack is our friend. Now, give me a moment. Okay, I reckon I know where it is. Uh, I still check this bag first. Um, yeah. And what I'm going to do is, give me a brief moment, guys, whilst I uh, try to locate my blue tank. If it transpires that I can't find it, that's okay, we must all everything else. And uh, I'll just deal with that by going to the shops later after the stream. Now, give me a moment. Hopefully I'll find it, because I'd like to get that done now. Just because. There's probably a good reason as I can give. Just because. Okay, I think we're heading fast to... I will get some blue tech at the shops, turf. Oh, wait, wait. Ha, ha, winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Um, now, on the subject of blue tech, what we're going to do as well with our blue tech, well, actually, we don't really need to do that, so I, what I was speculating about doing was covering these areas, but we're actually going to be gluing something in there anyway, so that's probably not necessary. Now. Here we go, kids. Deadly. I do need to get more blue tech, though. To me, this is one of the most useful uh, modelling tools imaginable. Now, I'm not going to need big chunks, probably like little... <laughs> this reminds me of a joke. One of my favourites, to be honest. Um, there's this... Uh, guy at a bar and uh, he's sitting next to this dude he's got this thing between his fingers and uh, the guy sitting next to him is absolutely off his chops but he keeps rolling this thing saying looks like plastic feels like rubber looks like plastic feels like rubber with some degree of amaze and uh, this other dude's always thought of himself as a bit of an entrepreneur. And uh, decides to see what this guy's got. And uh, so, well, what have we got there, my good man? And uh, the uh, pissed guy replies, I, I don't know, but it looks like plastic and it feels like rubber. And... Uh, Ah, oh, fascinating. Yeah. May I have a look? And uh, yeah, the guy passes it over, and the uh, entrepreneurial chappy looks at it, and he goes, well, that's, that's quite fascinating. Uh, it does indeed 
look like plastic and, as you say, feel like rubber. Where did you get this? And, uh, says, oh, from my nose. Um, <laughs> it's just very silly. Now. All righty. Yeah, I think this is uh, the way to roll with this one. Now, I don't even reckon I'm going to get onto the uh, C47 whilst on the stream. Um, this is take, this is a lot more to this than I had anticipated. However, when it comes to doing the main coats um, some of the masking from I can just keep in place um, so I cannot no, never mind now then next There we go. All right. So what we'll do, actually, yeah, while I'm in blue tech mode, let's get all of these done. Then we'll uh, mask these up. And then... Here we go. Yeah, once the wings are done, obviously we move on to... Now, there are parts of this aircraft that are going to be a wee bit tricksy, tricksy to do. So, because we're going to need to find out exactly how they go on to find our area of, well, where the uh, rain will go on. There we go. Almost done with the blue tack. I'll just get that back a bit. There we go. And into there. And then all right. Here we go. Three more and it's and that's the blue tech done. Yeah. And to get it out I'll just push from this side. It's not rocket science really now, is it? I'm going to need a bit more than that. Uh, now. There we go. Now, what is the time? 10.30, that's not 10.38, it's, okay, we've got a bit of time to roll, we might get the C4, the uh, B17 finished, we'll see how we go, and uh, fortunately I don't think there's that much on the C47 that will need to be done, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, I can get on and actually do the airbrush in. Yes, I can. And I will, too. Well, this is going to be a big job, but that's okay. It's going to take a bit of time. Uh, 
Jeez, look at the size of the wings alone. Deary me, kids. Uh, in you go. Ow. <laughs> right, next. There we go. Uh, cover that up. Try to remember to get some more when I get to, to the shops. Now, hmm, Robin. Let's use this. go here with that now these are the wheel bays we need to keep them clear beyond that it's less important um because once this is done, the only area I need to click clear is that. And that's a pretty straight... Oh, and I should, might just make sure that I've got this clear all the way back. There we go. Now I've got the entire wheel bay area covered. Excellent. And we'll go there. There we go. Boom. All right, that's that one done. Uh, pop that over to there. You come here. Now, after this, there's a few fins to be done. They're pretty quick, short, sharp, and shiny. On the time factors, let me start getting a bit of trickery. Trickery as to where we're going to need to start our bowing gray. Now, I believe there's a correct way for those. I'll show you once I want to get around to those parts, but there's a few little bits of trickery that go with them as far as the order in which they go on and the position they go on, and that's how we can be able to identify where our um, bowing gray will go and where we will need to mask. That's the theory. Uh, And finally, come here, you dearie me. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. All right. It's that done. Now, the... 
tunes that I require. I've done most of them. Now, these ones, how wide are they at their widest point? Boom. Why am I bothering? Hang on a moment. Let me just pop that there. Why am I bothering doing that when... Fuck's sake, Rob. Wake up to yourself, son. I don't need to mask those, really, now, boy. Sunshine. Now, what I might want to consider on these, perhaps, is a bit of a tidy up there and there. I don't need to mask those, you twat. Oh. Uh, yeah, I do, mate. I do. Give me a moment. Bing. And bing. And bing. There we go. Give that a bit of a yeah, there we go. And there we go. All good. Now potentially tricky parts. Actually, this one's an easy part, so we'll do this first. Now, this was painted on the, the outside in mistake. Um, that's okay. And we'll fix that with the ensuing colours. Ah. Hey, Manuel, how are you? Thank you for coming in your stream. Yeah, no, you're right, man. All good in the hood. Been well? Oh, well, I've already asked you that. <laughs> I'm done with, with you. We've had some company. <laughs> now. I'm working on the, the Zill ones. This is one set of blue scale. You can see the details. This is the yeah. Russian command track from the World War II. The Zill 157. Uh, detail the wheels of the, the protections of the, the lights. Oh, yeah, nice. Every tail is the spare wheel, parts of the, the storage here. Sweet. I'm going to put it now. I'm painting the create the, the Russian green. Yeah. And now I'm going to put some weather here in the cool. the wheels to create some mud. Nice. And put some highlights here in the, the top of the, the shape cool. to create more shape with a, a light color. Same color, but more light with a little bit of white to create the shapes of the chassis to create, to, to brush up more details. Nice. The other one I finish. I'm finish. I'm just putting the decals. This is the the paladin. Ah. This is the M196A. The paladin. This was used in the Desert Storm campaign in Iraq. This is from Rich Mall, 172 scale. You can see this is a a fantastic detail. This this model. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. If the machine gun, you can see the bullets cool. in the box. <laughs> That's nice. I've got a uh, tiger tank I've got to get on to, back on to. Um, but I've got, my problem is I start kits and then I get distracted by other ones. Um, but yeah, that's good, man. This is photo wedge here. This is the basket for the storage they have in the back of the vehicle. 
Yeah, cool. It's very, very high detail, everything. And this is link by link. Yeah. 172 scale, you can see my hand. <laughs> yeah. I built an elephant years ago. Yes, I have. Done and uh, I wasn't a very good scale modeler at the time, and I'd be embarrassed to show it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But uh, yeah, like I said, I've got a tiger tank I've got to get back onto. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, I've got a whole stack of other kits coming very soon. Most most of my models are 172. I'm used uh, along the years working in the small scale because yeah, the, yeah. Uh, today the some models in 172 have more details than 135 it's impressive in some models for example i'm uh, working on this this is the uh, f86 saber i'm doing oh, this no. one for, for my father i'm going to put in the portuguese skin it was used in the war in the africa in mozambique I want to, uh, I think Eric Hartman flew a Sabre for the... Uh, yes, yes, it does have uh, a version of the that Eric one. Hartman with the, the nose here with the same, the, the use in the Michel Smith 109. <laughs> yeah, I'm building that, but I know that when he, I believe when he got back to the West German Air Force, yeah. Yes, it he was did, uh, the Sabre. It, we can, I seeing the other day with the the f86 is that one who i have told us rob the, the hartman uh hey they have from the hobby box the the skin and this one that i detail everything i detail the cockpit this is, is 172 i put the nice. brakes Every I detail here inside the, the wiring. You've been busy. Yes. The other one I'm working is this one. This is very cool. This one. This is a Polish light tank with oh, two, wow. two turrets. This is from the right one thirty five scale. Wow. So this is very cool. That tank. So they actually it's build a tank with two turrets. Yes, twin turrets. Because this is was um, a tank. The the patent of this tank it was British because they have machine guns, Vickers. Yeah, and, right. Uh, the British don't don't use that tank. They export for the Polish, and the Polish acquire some uh, tanks for them. This is for light tanks for to support the infantry, and they use them in Second World War Two. I have another two to build. I am going to do the three versions of the Polish. This is one. Nice. Of them. This is very cool because of the turrets. I put different machine guns, Vickers. You can see they are different. Yeah, cool. And very, very good details. This is from Mirage. Mirage has very good details. The way it's everything. And here the storage. The... I'm going to paint the, the scheme. I'm going to use is this one. I'm going to paint is the three colors. It's, Ooh, it's, no. it's similar like the the using the the French tanks. French tanks is uh, they are similar in colors. It's a red, a red brown uh, light. Green and the, the the other color is uh, a yellow gray, yeah. a little bit of gray. I might design the colors and put it's a very cool tank. It's an unusual tank because of the twin tablets. Yeah. 
We have a one I'm working with this, this one is more big, this is 132 scale, this is the uh, Albatross D3 from World War One that I played. Nice, that's big. The, the more detail, more I have done. I create the effect of the hole, you can see. This is plastic, but you almost like hood. I create effect with dry brushing. I detailed the machine guns, the engine, everything is detailed. The cockpit yeah, nice. with leather. Now I'm painting the, the wings to create the effect of the canvas because these planes are in, in tissue, not metal. And I'm creating the, the effect of the canvas. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, that's a good effect. I like very much these planes, the, the biplane to World War One. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. The, the 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 part most most tricky is the the rigging. The most big one is this one with 42 centimeter wingspan. This is the very F6, the eyebrow plane, the Russian eyebrow plane for World War II. Okay, yep. This is a monster from Rival. This is from Rival. You can see this is very big. <laughs> but it's a very cool. It have a, a big and an unusual shape in the wing and parts of the, the back are very cool the tool and I'm painting with the the, the skin they use in the World War II the, the Russian grey and the in the bottom they use the the grey the grey blue it's similar like they use the blue buff it's slow, almost like like book. Yeah. It's a very cool point, the barrier six. The more most more is this one, the Ham V from Desert Storm 172. This is very small. I put everything in dry brushing. This is dry brushing. I created the grills, scrying, oh, yeah. everything is cool. scrying here. Not in the model, I created the grill. And some dust and the wind chill. Create the effect of dust. In the wheels because it was in the desert. He says it's some awesome projects. It's about seven at the same time. <laughs> yeah. The last but not least, <laughs> like I say, is this one. The oh, wow. The Black Shark, Russian Black Shark helicopter. This is very cool. You can see the effect. It's rotate. Creates a, a very nice. cool effect. <laughs> this is the, the Black Shark, the Camo 50. One of the most powerful helicopters in the world. Yeah, right. Because I don't know much about helicopters. Yes, I like very much helicopters. I've, um, yeah, I couldn't tell you. And in, there's only a couple of helicopters I could even identify. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about them. Yes. Um, the next there one is one I'm kind of interested in building. Um, oh, yeah. Well, wouldn't mind. 
You are saying wrong. Sorry. I was going to say, there's one I wouldn't mind building, but I'm not quite sure what its name is. For some reason, Sikorsky sounds right. Uh, if, if you would uh, show me the picture, I can identify. Ah, I don't have one on hand. No, um, because it's more easy for me. But what I can say with certainty is that it would have been the helicopter that was used to put troops in on the ground in Vietnam. Oh, the uh, two, uh, en two engine jobby. Yes, yes, and the, uh, they, they have uh, some helicopters. The the most common in the Vietnam it was the UH one. Yeah, yeah. Or the UA. This is the 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 well how they tell the the name the 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 workhorse in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, UA, That's the UA. It's the most famous helicopter. They uh, have used it to the Shinok with the two blades for transporter. Yeah. The big one. And they have the, another one, the Sikorsky, uh, with a, a shape like a, a potato in the nose. It's a very unusual shape. It was used in Vietnam too. Yeah, right. It, it, it's it's uh, similar like the the air the air force one helicopter from the president of the united states but uh, very more small it, it's because it's too it, it's similar like the the english the westland i i think i know what the westland yes the that one the because you are telling is similar with the westland they used in the Vietnam. Okay, yep. Yeah. Right. I'm just trying to identify something on my uh, kit here, and there's a point that I need to find. I'm not quite there. We go. I think I found it. Yes, I have. That's the top. Okay, you have ever built uh, any one helicopter? I've never built a helicopter, mate. Never, never built another one. Um, when I first started modeling, yes, my big thing, um, and pretty much all I built was World War II aircraft. Yes, it's uh, it's the like occasional foray into uh, World War One aircraft. Yes, um, in more recent times, I've come to uh look at or start exploring other things um now as to there's supposed to be a little raised area thing here i'm not finding as to um whether i'll get onto a helicopter that's a whole nother matter uh, at the moment i'm looking at doing quite a few cars yes um, i see who have the that one the japanese were building i see in the video. oh yeah but i've got a whole stack i've decided i want to do um i've also got some figures coming um figure, figure, like, it's another challenge <laughs> yeah it's um i i paint a, a little ones for you can see this is, i painted this uh, german shoulder in the winter camouflage this is 132 scale for my fix what i've uh, gone for is some because I was on the internet. I can't remember where I even saw these first, but at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that I saw um, or discovered some uh, that ICM. Yes, ICM. It's uh, they have uh, um, make these. One is the sixteen figures. And uh, they had a set called Guards of the World. And I looked at them, I thought, they're really cool. Um, what, what scale, Rob? When it's to 16. I want to take that. Uh, they are very, very big. Oh, yeah. And very detailed. Yeah, very uh, detailed. I looked at them, I thought, you know, I'm doing it. I'm so doing it. And um, look, I think I, I'm not alone when I say as a scale modeler, I see something I like. It's as good as port purchased, you know. I'm a sucker. Yeah. I'm a I'm a hapless fool for such behaviour. I tell you, 
<laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, I, I first a I know I'm not alone in that, and b there's lots of worse things I could be spending my money on. Um, but yeah, anyway, the point being that uh, we've got them coming, so I'm actually fast approaching a point where rather than go to the shops to get a kit. And I've got a whole stack of other stuff in my stash that I've I've already got you know, planned for the next year, but I'll be adding these in somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll um, rather than go to the shops and get a kit, I'll just decide what I want to build and go and get it out of my stash. And you know, that's not a bad posse to be in in some ways. It just means I need to buy the relevant paints when it comes down to it, and yada yada yada, and away I go. Yeah. So I'll have once I've these all these other kits arrive, I'll have probably have something close to a hundred kits in my stash. Now at that point I don't need to buy more. I can oh I've just knocked something on the ground. At least I know what it is I knocked on the ground. Hopefully it hasn't rolled far. Give me a moment once I put the blue tack in here. There we go. But yeah, um when the, the I've got some already on the way of the guard set and I've ordered the rest via my local hobby shop or so one of my local hobby shops I've got how many more cars on the way uh, I think I've got another two cars coming although I've already purchased another four um, the cars are civilian or sports um okay well there's going to be a few little tricksies here um okay i'm building a because two of the cars i'm built one's a sports car a lamborghini mura oh very cool lamborghini and the reason i'm building it is because when i was a boy one of my favorite toy cars was a matchbox lamborghini mura oh, and, nice. and to my great joy I've also managed to find, because I've lost the, the, the toy I had as a boy, but I found a, the exact kit, or not the exact, the exact die cast that Matchbox had and that I had as a kid intact on the internet, and I've purchased it. And that's going with it. And so I'm going to give the Lamborghini Mura that paint job. So I'll have built the car I had as a boy. And... Uh, then I'm also looking at uh, two Mustangs. I'm actually going to do a, what's called a Mustang shelf. I'll explain in a minute. Give me a moment. I just want to find that bit that fell on the floor where the carpet monster consumes. Otherwise, I'm going to need to go on a bit of a search and destroy. Uh, this isn't looking promising. Ah, here it is. Ah, there we go. Come here, you. Ah. Gotcha. Anyway, and what I'm going to put on the musk is I'm going to have, again, another one of my favourite cars was, in fact, give me a moment. Here we have it. One of my favourite toys, Matchbox ones when I was a boy, another one, was... This little number here. Um, and is very old. what I'm going to do, give me a moment, is because this is a 1971 yeah. uh, Mustang. This is, that one is the, the cast, metal. And this is the paint job I'm going to give my one in a Revel kit. Oh, very cool. Now, there, that, that, however, much though I do, I love that, but much though I do, that's not actually my favourite type of Mustang. That My favourite type is actually the 69. So I ordered that, and I'm going to paint that a really dark blue, because um, that's the colour I like it in. So, and I'm going to put, to create my Mustang shelf, what I'm going to do... We're going to have those two cars plus the die cast. 
Okay. I'm going to have three one to 72 Mustang aircraft. I'm going to do a Tuskegee P-51D. I'm going to do um, a P-51B. And I'm going to do an F-51, the Korean War variant. And that'll be my Mustang shelf. Yeah. Um, I'm also... <laughs> here's a funny one for you. Um, when I... Uh, I used to own a Volvo at one stage. And I always wanted to soup, to soup it up. <laughs> and uh, give it a kick-ass paint job and everything. Now, I didn't, in the final analysis, I didn't get around to that. It didn't happen. That's fine. What I'm going to do, though, is give a uh, 1 to 24 kit the decking out I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll just be there. I'm also going to build a Mini Cooper S. Oh, Mini Cooper S. But, but like the original ones. I love this car. And I'm going to give it the uh, markings of the cars from the movie, the the original Italian job. Because um, I love that as a movie. I thought it was very cool. With Michael Caine. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm all, and then I'm going to build a... V dub Beetle. Uh, what I'm going to do with the, it. The Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to. Um, is, is that classic? I'm going to uh, paint it blood red. And I'm going to get the decals for uh, Manfred von Richthofen's uh, DR1. <laughs> And I'm going to put them on the V dub. Um, that was another thing I always wanted to do, to do. Although somebody did point out to me, if you did that and drove it around, there'd be some dickhead who would take it com that you'd, you know, completely the wrong way. <laughs> and I thought, you know, that is sadly true. Humans have no have an unbridled ability to live down to the lowest common denominator. You know, so I didn't follow through with that idea, but I can do it as a model. And I will too. Yeah, and, yeah. and finally, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well. <laughs> and this one is uh, one I'm just going to have to do as a die cast and accept that that's how it is. A car that, because there is no kit, I've tried, look, I've looked as hard as I can. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Are you familiar? And you may not be. Um, with a brand of car called Valiant. Oh yes, the Valiant. The Valiant, right? Yes. In the early seventies, they made they made a Charger. Certainly over here, they did in Australia. My dad had one, and I thought it was a really cool car. In fact, it was. I liked it. Um, and whilst I can't get a scale model kit of one, I can get. A 50th anniversary um, die cast. One is the 18, I think it is. Limited edition. It looks great. I'm going to get one of those to go in the cabinet with the other cars. So as you can see, I've developed a bit of a bit of a thing for them. Yeah, you have lots of projects to work. <laughs> but uh, that's fine, you know. We... Uh, we all do our things. <laughs> and look, in the final analysis, like I said, all it really cuts down to is I'll be in the position to go, well, what do I want to build next? Hmm, I'll just saunter out to the uh, stash and grab what I want to build next, you know? And to me, that's a bit cool. Very and handy. The, and the other one, 172, you, you'll never build one more, like these ones well it's uh i mean it's got here's the here's the thing right 
I say that I'm going to, once I've gotten these ones, I'll, I'll stop there. I know I'm lying. I've already eyed off, you know, I wouldn't mind getting uh, both the Shan Horse and the Nicer now from Tamir. Oh, yes, the Shan Horse. Whilst there's not much difference between them, there is a difference. That's the whole thing, you know? Yes. Um, Shan Horse, it, it's a battleship. Yeah, yeah. They go in 1 is to 700. I've got a 1 is to 350 battleship I want to do first, though. Yes, the one thirty sixty is it small bigger. Oh mate, this one's uh it's gonna be a long process. What it'll be is yeah, excuse sure. me, I'll drop something there. What it will be is a case of I keep dropping this bloody thing. Um ah, maybe I need to look at that. Uh, um that I We'll work on my kits, and then when I've made a put certain point, I'll go, right, I'm going to put a week onto the ship. Spend a week just on the ship. And then I'll do some other kits, and then I'll go, right, I'll do a week on the ship. Because it's just that sort of thing. You know, I'll do task X and line that up. Yeah. And yeah. once well, that's completed, get back to the others. The, the ships uh, have more work to them. It's the, they have more multiple multiple parts. Yeah. And they have the super super chart structure on the, the guns. Uh, they are very small parts. The ships. Yeah, yeah. Well, the uh, the thing about this one that has me going, oh dear, is uh, that the actual hull is about the length of my arm now bearing in mind i'm six foot two that's a big bloody piece of paintwork just there you know yeah one of the bigger more daunting elements of it in my opinion is that the um is the mere fact that before I even get to the camouflage paint patterns of it, I'm going to need to... Uh, yes, for the camouflage, you, you need to, to mask. Oh, the, well, there's a whole stack of things. Of things of the, the German ships, they have, the, they have the, the same skin like the Luftwaffe. They are right yeah, under yeah, the yeah. ships. Before I even get to that, I've got to put the cast iron undercoat on. Yeah. And that's a huge job when you're dealing with something of that sort of dimension. And it's just like, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I did it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> lots of work, Rob. <laughs> yeah, lots of work. But on the other side of the equation, yeah. if I didn't want to do that work, I wouldn't have bought the kit now, would I? Yeah. So, you know. Most important, it's uh, having fun. Well, that maybe, is the bottom line. It's not like I'm being forced to do this now, is it? Yes. No it's something pressure. I choose to do. Yes. No pressure. We have time a little bit day by day, one in a model, another model. Well, it's just a thing of... Uh, like me, I'm working in seven projects at the same time. But yeah. a little bit in, in this one, one day. Another day, I'm going to work another part in another model. One of, the things I, one of the things I like doing with, or I like doing several projects at once, and I'm yeah. pretty sure you'd be the same here. Yeah. Some days you don't want to work on the kit you worked on yesterday. Yes, yes, it's that that that, that point because in the someday I I don't have the the feeling for that one. I'm going yeah. to work on another one. And yeah, yeah. I'm totally there. The time in the moment. I'm absolutely there, man. I totally agree. Um, yes. What's the saying? Variety is the spice of life. Yeah. And it's not an untrue assessment, really. It certainly keeps things happy. Ah. Yes. And uh, we 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 variate a little bit. For for example, I'm working in this Russian track. 
Then I'm yep. going to put uh, uh, some work in the helicopter. The the other one is uh, the albatross. It's another one. It's different different projects, different uh, subjects. Yeah, we can vary uh, very different subjects. Well, it's also just the, yeah, there's so many different yeah, yes, so many different like, techniques. Yeah, you know, yeah, work work. I'm actually really looking forward to getting some of these figures. Yes. Um, aside from the guards of the world. I um, got uh, a Viking as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 cool. I like the Vikings. It's I have, um, I have, I have a ship to build from uh, Academy. It is one hundred and fifty. It's uh, very big. It's yeah, uh, nice. uh, a Roman Roman battleship. Nice. I've got one. I've got a Roman. Uh, Trireme somewhere. They are very cool. I like very much that ships that for that time, the Roman ships. They, do you know where they got their design from? The Carthaginians. Yes, the Carthaginians, yes, because they have first the, the fleet. Yeah. The Romans. I, read, I read some history about that. They are very, very cool battles. Look, the Carthaginians had a lot going for them, and uh, things could have been very different in history. Um, yeah. In the final analysis, of course, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Carthaginians were very powerful, and their, yeah. Yeah, their ships were shit hot. And the Romans saw them and thought, you know what? Oh, we like them. We'll, we'll follow that design. And why yeah. wouldn't Yes, because I have uh, made some research about the the shapes of the ships, and the the Roman ships are very very similar to the Carthaginians. Yep. Even the the part of the the in the front of the ship, they have the, the hammer to blow up the, the ships. It's, uh, yeah. They use a full speed against the the other ship. And they, the the Carthaginians, they have that that form of ship, like like that, like the the Greeks the Greek ships. It they are similar. They and are. They, they're very similar. They, yes. For that time, they use uh, very similar ships in the in both fleets. It's just dawned on me. I've made my uh, the way I mask these up is possibly I would be better served. So I need to do the insides as well. So I'm better served just to use a bit of blue tech all the way around. I might even put that on the top. We'll see. Now I might need to go very soon, dude. It might be another 10 15 before I cruise. But We'll see how it go. As far as finishing all this off goes. That's you, know, you are using in the the C seventeen the the Memphis Bell is the they have in the olive drive with the, the spot of camera push. Yeah, yeah. Um my, so I've shown you that one. The, yes. The other one I'm using, I wonder if I've got it on hand. I do have it on hand. Ooh, convenience. Uh, give me a moment to give that a bit of a shake. <laughs> yeah, sort of that'll be the, the contrast, roughly. Probably if you look at the better bottoms of them, would be a better option. So that's yeah. what I'm going to do little splotches with. That's going to be the main coat. But uh, if you need, Rob, you can create the the color for uh, with the uh, with black and the yellow. You can create the orange graph with no problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you uh, a good tip for you. Just a minute. I have here in my smartphone a program to create colors. This one you can download from the app Apple Store. This one you can see real color mixer. Okay. 
you just download it's free no problem you go to the apple store yeah just write yeah i'm going to put here in the, in the real real hang on hang on, hang on my mind this is very cool because you can create with a, a palette of colors. No, that's not who i want up that's what i want no 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 put us back to two ah the, there we go i'll see now yeah you just download it's free and you can have with the for example the the basic colors blue ah. red and yellow they have a database colors in the inside the, of the program and you can do, have two options for example i'm going to show you here in real time for you can see it's very easy for example, if I need uh, this color here, the, uh -huh. the blue one, in the in the model, I just go to the the program. I'm going to click here. You can see. I'm just open. Then they have a, a option here. You can see search. Yeah, right. You just type search. Then it's going to a graphic of colors. Now you have the option here, camera ah. and gallery. The camera is going to use your camera from source mode. You are going to take a picture. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put the camera. You can see it's focusing. I'm going to take a picture of the model of the green I need. And put OK now you can see have the picture of the green of the model yeah then i'm going to put here in the top it's okay i'm going to with my finger put in one part of the green i touch and you can see it's going to have the color here yep then i put okay it's going to save i have the color save with a picture yeah then i'm going to put here in this in the bottom it have search and have yep. the graphic of the accuracy of the search accuracy of the color less accurate or very accurate you can choose then i'm going to put here search just a And put search, and there is going to calculate the color with the, the colors I need. You can see. Yeah. Ah. It is. It have six drops of yellow, three drops of blue, and one drop of black. Interesting. And here, and you have the color. You have take the picture, and the, in a few minutes you have the the match to calculate the the color interesting and if you, if you need to calculate it in the millimeters you go into here what it says calculator you can see above yeah. the, the color you can put the calculator i'm going to put and you can see it have here in millimeters you can see yeah right Oh. The names of the colors, the mixed. This is very, very, very cool. This program. What's it called again? Real color mixer. Real color mixer. All right. Name, name of the program. I have a video in my channel. You can see the video I demonstrate of color. I will have color. a look, right? Yeah, you go to my channel. I have I put uh, videos with mixed uh, the colors.
this is very very good because you can take a picture put in the gallery yeah that's handy you go, you go to the gallery download the color take the color makes the mixer and if you have another option you can save this mixture for example you need the, this color for another model and you not go into to and to try mix it again no you save the, the mixing when you need you just touch and you have mix instant mixer interesting okay, you can create your home gallery for the models you have another option cool. is this one in the top you have a, a little drop here you can see a pipe pit pipette here you just touch the pipette and you are going to see the gallery of the every colors here wow every tones red green blue for example you have you need more tones of blue green you have right. every tones of green here you can see wow for example you need the uh, brown you have every tones of brown here here yeah, right this is, is a very very good program for example orange you need the orange you have the tones of orange here with every mixture that's uh that's very cool man yes and it's very useful thank you for that for our, for our hobby this is very good because well, it's in a simple way sometimes we don't have the, the exact color yeah 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 and then i match i just need it for example the basic colors you just need this you just need the black color you just need the white color these are the, the colors in base then you just need the yellow color here the other one is the red and the other is the blue with these five colors you can you can create thousands of colors that's pretty cool actually very in a, in a simple way with this program you rob with just these five colors you can create thousands of colors that's cool this is a, the, the name of this this free is the we we call the primary colors blue red and yellow. well yeah that is the th yeah i do recall even this sounds like an odd thing that's well not relevant but and, uh, when i was in school think, they explained yeah all your colors ultimately come from those three yeah. don't they yes and this and the, the for these ones the the black and the white these are the neutral colors this is the extreme, the more dark, and this is the other extreme, the more light. So you can create with the, the three ones, the yellow, red, and blue. You create a color you need. Then, if you need more light, you put white. If you need more dark, you put black. Yeah. And for example, to create the color of gray, you just need this one, these two, black and gray. With black, and uh, sorry uh, black and white with the black and the white you can do every shapes of gray huh. for example to create olive red you just put yellow and black and you can create olive red with different tones of olive red the base is yellow and with a little drop of black i'm going to show you in real time what i'm just saying and yeah, going to cool. put here a little one and you are going i'm going to mix for you you can see i'm going to create olive red with one minute just a little bit one two three drops of yellow <laughs> one drop of black you are going to see is going to turn in olive red. I'm going to mix now in real time. You are going to see this turning green.
Je viens chez vous. Puis j'ai genre. Wow. Bien. Wow. If you need more light, just put one drop of white. I'm showing in real time the changing of the color. One drop of white, you are going to see the olive drop is going to more light. The same color, olive drab, but more light with one drop of white. You can see the changing. You can see this is the more wow. dark in the border and yeah. in the center more light. Two colors of olive red, two different shades. <laughs> very easy. And very useful for oh yeah. For hobby. That's certainly useful. Let's face it, sometimes you can't just buy the colors you want, yes, because we don't need to buy colors, colors after colors. No, you don't need that, and we can save some money in colors and buy another, oh, yeah. That's a, yeah, there's no <laughs> bad outcome to that, I'll tell you. That's that's so simple, like that. Sometimes, that's really the, cool. the value of the money we 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 just spend in colors we can buy another skip yeah well that's it isn't it ultimately <laughs> thanks for showing that well welcome well and yeah. any, any tip any tip you need just ask because this is my job i work with paint oh is that what you do for me it's very easy i i my my eyes i i, I like a calculator <laughs> <laughs> I have, I'll, I'll you. I have about 30, 35 years in working with colors. Okay. My great grandfather. I in the, the textile industry with clothes and yep. actually colors for the clients. Okay. My uh, great grandfather was a paint maker yes. back in the day um, when you had to actually sort of like make the paints from scratch. He was. A master yeah. paint maker. Yes. Um, I tell really you, I'd love to pick the man's brains on that these days. Yeah. A paint maker. It uh, the the name we we, we just call in the industry. It's a an artist. Yeah, yeah. Maker, it, it's an artist because he, he he can create colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Anyway, so, I'm gonna want. Uh, 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 Sorry to interrupt. Well, for example, uh, uh, a person who have a problem of the daltonic, it's a, a problem with the eyes. He can do, distinguish the, the difference of the colors. He, he, he yeah, can, yeah, yeah. A person like that, he can't create, he can't work with colors because he, he can't distinguish the different shapes of the colors. It's very difficult. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right, I'm going to wind the stream up now, mate. Okay. Well, I've uh, got to attend to a few other things in due course. But okay. thanks for uh, joining me on the stream. Thanks for show, sharing uh, well, real I, color mix. So that's I know, cool. I, I, I'm, I'm thank you with you. <laughs> thank you for the you having your stream. It's all. Oh, ah, you're right. I'll, you now. Have, with your company in the bench is very good. I might be on tomorrow morning. I'm not quite sure. I've got a dentist appointment at 10.45 my time. I'm normally on around 10.30, 9.30. So yeah, I might go on. Different <laughs> yeah, it might, I might go on a bit earlier. Um, yeah, I'm always up pretty early well. anyway. We'll see how I go. Um, if I'm not on tomorrow, I will be on on Tuesday. Yeah. And that's Monday your time, I guess. Um, because you're in Europe, aren't you? Yes, because but for me it's more difficult because I work in the in the week. And the, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I mean, in the weekend, I have a little bit of time for more. <laughs> in the in ah. the week is different for me because I'm I'm traveling in the work. Yeah. And I'm I'm just about to seven o'clock. I, I 
So I come from driving my my car. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, and I'm I'm very tired when I come to home. I'm really yeah, a bit. <laughs> I know, I know. I can't move. <laughs> All righty. Anyway, I'm going to cruise. Now, any first-time viewers out there, there's a magic button for you. Follow, like, or subscribe. If you want to track me down other platforms, I'm Rob the Builder on Facebook and YouTube. I'm Robster the Builder on Instagram, Twitch, and Discord. And Rob the Builder and Food Monster on Twitter. <sighs> That's them done. And... Yes, tomorrow, as I said, I'm not sure what time I'll be on. Uh, probably I'll go early um, and get some, at least be on for an hour or so. But if not, I'll be definitely be on on Tuesday. And that will be at the same kit time and the same kit channel. Hopefully I'll catch you then. See you, guys. Okay, Rob. Well, see you. Take care. See ya.